to be holiday. Hey, you guys. Good morning. Look, I got on this big ass bonnet. This is that bonnet by Red by Kiss that they sent me. Y'all, look. Um, I guess because yesterday was the day after, you know, um, the holidays and a bunch of stuff. So it was the day after Christmas. I got bombarded with all bombarded. Is that how you pronounce it? I got attacked by all these emails coming in after my email. So look, I'm hating on other YouTubers, y'all. <laughs> I'm about to I'm about to call you, sis. Angel Nancy Nap just did her last video video as it pertains to her hair regimen, her hair journey. So she finally made it to waist length. I think she I thought you were waist length a couple of years ago. No, that was Busby. Busby was Busby was actually at waist length two years ago. Um, I think she was, but I thought Angel was too. But anyway, so she's going a different direction on her channel. Angel is, a aka Nancy Naps. And I know a couple of y'all are subscribed to her. Um, but I was looking at it jealous because I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can get to waist length by the end of next year, especially since I won't be using a lot of new products. I'm going to try to minimize my heat use usage. And yeah, I'll just keep my hair, leave my hair alone. Hey you guys, so today I'm gonna to be making crock pot turkey chili. Um, I just don't have a lot of time today to cook. I love to cook, don't have the time, so I'm throwing everything in the crock pot. So we're gonna be having um, quite a bit of ingredients, so I'm gonna take my time to go through them. By the way, I'm using what I have in my pantry. I typically keep a lot of the stuff just on hand. So here we go. We have kidney beans, black beans, Mexican style stewed tomatoes, diced tomatoes, beef bouillon, garlic, bell pepper, uh, onions, jalapenos, a package of seasonings, uh, corn in the back, ground turkey. As far as seasonings, we have garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, salt, red pepper flakes, oregano. I don't have cumin. I typically would add that. So what I'm gonna do, you guys, is brown my, excuse me, saute my veggies on top of the stove brown my turkey and then throw that along with everything else with the exception of the beans and corn throw everything in the crock pot two hours after two hours add my beans and corn i'm also thinking i may just add um i'm gonna add some tomato paste and tomato sauce duffel bag came for our trip in a couple more weeks to Texas. I'm buying our tickets next week, y'all. These tickets are ridiculous. Ticket prices range from $550 to almost $800. So I hate to come in kind of late, but we're going to come in not really late. We're going to be flying in 6 o'clock at night. We're getting here at 6. The reason why it seems like it's, is because it's getting darker later here, early here in Phoenix. So by five o'clock, it's been getting dark. <laughs> JB showing you. So this is a good size. I mean, we're only there Thursday through Sunday. Four days, I could fit four days of clothes in here. Hey you guys, it is. This girl, this Vlogmas, I'm breaking all the rules basically. Um, Vlogmas is different. It, it depends on what you want to do, you know. Um, the whole uh, point of it is to vlog during December. Some people vlog up until Christmas. Some people vlog the entire month of December. Some people may do one week. Um, it just depends on the person. Um, so for me personally, this will be my last day. Since I started late, I wanted to give y'all a lot. So this will be basically 20 vlogs in one month. I think that's pretty dang on good. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I have an attitude problem. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to 
I, it started to manifest yesterday. I got a lot of emails the day after, uh, and I told y'all this, the day after Christmas. Um, I'm having to redo a video. Uh, it's got me a little bit, bit attitude, but it's okay. I got some feedback from another YouTuber. Thank you, girl. I really do appreciate that. I know she sometimes watches my vlogs. <coughs> I told y'all I'm open to uh, critical criticism. Is that how you say it? I don't, yeah, I'm tired. I'm not tired, but mentally I'm wrapped up, girl. So this morning I am doing a brain dump basically jotting down all my ideas for 2020 for YouTube videos. You guys, I've already communicated this and my changes to my channel video, which by the way, that video got very low hits. So if you didn't watch it, don't be surprised. Don't be asking me why I'm not reviewing Mono's hair stuff. No. When I told you it's going down, the content is going down. I mean, um, uh, I can't remember exactly what I said in that video, but it'll be three to four videos a month as opposed to a week. I think I, I mentioned that. So anyway, I already have my ideas down as far as hair related videos and I'm just capturing all of that on these brain dump sheets that I got from Alexis. She's in her trench coat. She is a uh, productive planner, content creator. I absolutely love her right up my alley. Also, I am planning my hour trip to Texas. I will be vlogging that because that will be lit. That will be a two-part vlog, too. Um, my mother is celebrating 60 years on this earth, and um, we are going to our birthday party. Y'all, when my parents do parties, they do, my family in general, when they do get-togethers and parties, they do it big. They are all extroverts. <clears throat> I mean, some... Clearly some of them, you know, mixed personalities, but overall, they like people. <clears throat> Sorry y'all, it's dry here, so my throat is dry. So yeah, my mama spent a good change on this party. I know she did. And the theme is gonna be uh, Paris, a Paris theme, ooh la la. The color will be blue, a navy blue. Yeah, they do it like that, yeah. Um, and it's a big family. My mom is the youngest of 13. My dad is the middle of 10. And all they butts will be there. Cousins are in the hundreds, yeah. So it's a big family. Um, I'm excited though. Mm -hmm. She asked my sister and I to MC the event. My sister's gonna do it, <coughs> y'all. Discovering Natural, I really envied your picture of the daughters, your daughters that you posted. She posted a picture of her daughters and said that <coughs> she's basically either she's she's jealous of their relationship they have a close relationship discovering natural is a uh, natural hair youtuber out in texas nigerian woman beautiful family she's so funny to me y'all i envy that my sister i only have one sibling my sister we are not close at all there's no bad blood there's no bad beef we're just not close we are extremely different personalities to the point to where when people have met her, um, when I was in college, they were like, that's your sister? I'm like, yeah, I love her. <laughs> that's my sister. Completely, she's what you call hood country. That's that's what I call her, hood country. So anyway, y'all, planning the, planning the trip to Texas. We will be going the first week, second week of February. We will be staying in Irvine, my parents live in East Texas. Y'all know this. And East Texas is huge. Texas is huge. We are about 40 minutes away from Shreveport, Louisiana. Longview, close to Tyler, Kilgore, Marshall. I'd rather just, especially since JB is going, it's just us by ourselves. I would rather just be, you know, I'm very familiar with Dallas, even though the dang old tallways when we were there earlier this year. Y'all have gone crazy with those tollways, girl. Girl, chocolate Capricorn, you need to come pick me up from the airport. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm gonna assign some of my subscribers to pick us up from the airport. You need to pick us up from the airport. Um, I need another person to drive us to East Texas. <laughs> no, if I wanted to, I could have my family to do all that, but I don't like to depend on people, y'all. This is my personality. I've been this way since I was 17. I don't think ever. 
my husband unfortunately cannot come with us because he's using all of his vacation for jb's birthday y'all why didn't y'all tell me jb's birthday was coming up <laughs> jb's birthday is coming up in like three more weeks so we we don't do big parties or anything first of all i am paranoid and afraid that if we do something either i know that kids will show up but i'm just paranoid so i instead i do little get togethers at our house um last year we did a hotel we stayed there we had such a good time and um, we went out to eat and I made him a little cake and invited friends over. I think I'm gonna do that this year. Yeah, I'm going to make a cake. He wants a Super Mario theme. He wants a coconut cake. I hope you're bringing him to the coconut because that's what we do it. All right, you guys, I, yeah, planning my, um, I'm a planner. So I use extra notebook paper <laughs> for my happy planner. I use the happy planner, you guys. Um, to help plan my trips. So I have stickers here. I have my to-do list. I have a packing list that I've already started. Um, I have a note list for flights here. I haven't booked my flight, but one of the things that I've started to do, you know, one of the unfortunate things as African-Americans or people of color in general is that we haven't had good examples um, as far as being financially fit, hell, physically fit. We ain't gonna talk about that. So we've had to either learn from our own mistakes or our parents' mistakes. Other cultures have either had examples in their life. Um, they've had a nest egg. They haven't had the necessarily, and this is not all, okay? I'm, this is not everyone. Let's just be clear of that. But they haven't had the, uh, They've had generational wealth. We haven't had that. <laughs> you know, we, we, we haven't. Hell, we just got out of quote unquote slavery. Some of us are still in it, but you know, we haven't had that. So I've had to learn um, and I've learned from, from my, um, my white older friends or my white friends. So one of the things I've learned as an adult is that if you can pay for it up front, do it. Don't get um, caught up in pink girl black people will be thought I'm gonna save up my money and get it when I have all my money saved up or I'm gonna you know I'm gonna make payments on it my husband for the first his first few vehicles he paid for them in cash or if he has leased a vehicle he'll pay it under the loan requirement he'll pay it off really fast um so for this trip I learned to, uh, I have my credit cards, but to use the point system, um, and my neighbors who are from Paris, Texas, they're like, oh yeah, when we, what we tend to do is we use our credit card to pay, uh, I'm mumbling, we'll get a credit card that has a good interest and one that gives us rewards, and we'll use that, that one credit card specifically for traveling, and that's what I learned to do over the course of the past five years or so. So I have my one credit card, that I use, I treat it as like a, a, a monthly bill, of course. I use that for um, traveling, but I also use it for gas to keep the points accum accumulated and then I'll pay it off double what the, the requirement payment, monthly payment is, okay? So I was able to get my car for this trip, just using those lessons again from other people. Cause girl, I didn't learn anything from my parents that way. Seriously, I'm just being honest. So I was able to get my car for this Texas trip using my points that I already had accumulated over the over the year. Um, also when it comes to my hotels, you know how sometimes when you book your hotels you'll see book now, say 15, whatever, you know, book in advance or you know pay later. Most people they do the pay later. You know, you book your hotel, you pay when you get there. You need to really look into how much money you will save and you actually pay for it now. So that's what I did. I'm like okay if I pay for my Dallas, at least my Dallas hotels, if I pay for those now, I save $75. Done. So I'm going to pay for those hotels, get the tickets in advance. Um, yeah, so it's hard, you know, having to learn things on your own and make mistakes. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> 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 
Do we try to put it back on? No, you can't put it back on. We got so many. Look at that. Look at that. We had a derailed it. Derailment. It did it at the crossing. That's very weird. Yeah, we just got out of, the lot, out of the library and you saw that my glasses are dirty. Um, You saw that the train that we were on derailed. Out of all the years we've been riding that train and we've been going to this train park for almost two and a half, three years. We've never seen the train derail before. Um, So, y'all. I'm almost done. Okay, baby. YouTube. Hold on, let me clean my glasses and come back on cam. I honestly think I made it a little bit worse, but we're going to do. YouTube straight had me panicking. I, when I upload a video, I try to check my messages at least for the first 24 hours. Y'all, I don't, I have some, a couple of videos that have high numbers, so I don't have time to be checking comments on those old videos, but at least for my new ones, I do. So, I'm in the library, right, and I'm checking, and all of a sudden, I see vlog number 17. And we're on vlog number 19, so I see vlog number 17, 13, 12, 5, and some random hair vlog from earlier this year. I mean, hair video. So I'm like, am I in a history? Don't do that, baby. Am I looking at a history? Am I looking at a playlist? No. I sorted it by newest, newest videos. Only eight videos appeared. I'm like, what? I get out of it. I get out of it because I'm not panicking yet. Because I'm like, this is, this is just something going on, right? I get out of it. I close it. I open it back up. Same thing. Eight videos. I'm like, okay, calm down. I type in my name, Vlogmas. Five videos show up. It should be about 19, right? Five videos show up. I'm like, okay, Vivian. I look at my history. I click on a video that wasn't listed on my view. I was able to view it. I'm like, okay, so the videos are there. So something's going on in the background to why my videos aren't appearing. So then I go to my community tab, not available. Not available. <laughs> Y'all, I freaked out, changed my password, did everything, got, got JB out the library, rushed over here to the fries, check my account again, everything's there. YouTube got, like literally all my, nearly 90% of my stuff had disappeared for like 15, 20 minutes. I'm sure none of y'all noticed it, but still, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. <laughs> we gotta go.